Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys today. It's uh, actually, this is the look. Mm, obviously, you can see it has, it's a plum brown. So it's very spring-like colors. But also, you can use this during the fall if you just deepen it a little bit more. But this is what it looks like. And uh, just FYI, this look looks good on anybody. But if you are dark complected um, or have a little bit more um, color to your skin, if you went with just a pinch uh, more vibrant colors of the same colors, it looks fantastic. So, okay, so let's get started. What I'm, gonna, I'm using today is my Sephora box that I've told you guys about, the 2004. Got this in last. I got this in, during Christmas time, so I got this actually in 2011. But this is a 2012 box, or or whatever you call it. Anyways, okay, so let's get started. I told you guys this box is forty nine dollars. It's a four hundred and forty dollar value. Oh, see, you can see my phone. Uh -huh. Anyways, um, so we are going over here, and these are the colors that I will be using today. Get close up so you guys can really see them this plum so if you have anything similar you guys can see the plum very very plum and then the dark dark brown today and then of course the black i'm going to be using for the eyeliner but just a plum and a dark dark brown so if you have something similar plum dark brown you can use it at home Okay, so let's get started. What I did is I took, of course, uh, my eye primer. And everybody wants to use the eye primer on their eyes. And I don't care what eye primer. This is the best, though, the Urban Decay Potion. And you apply it all over the eye. And you can see the color difference between my skin. This is just giving you a canvas to start with, a clean canvas. Okay, and I'm taking my e.l.f. brush. I did a tutorial on these e.l.f. brushes. They're a dollar at... Um, Target and they are awesome okay so this is really really simple I'm just using two colors I'm applying get a better angle so you guys can see I'm applying all over my lid and I'm going all the way up below my brow bone So, yeah, like I was saying about these brushes, for a buck, I, I mean, they're like such good quality, I would actually pay a lot more money for them. But, hey, a dollar's a dollar, and you get a lot for a dollar. Okay, you guys see how I went all the way up? Like, here's my brow bone. You can feel the bone. And I went right below the bone. Very vivid color. No, I couldn't wear this by itself. Okay. Then I'm going to dip into the brown. Remember, these Sephora colors are extremely pigmented. You see? That's why I always recommend you just make your V and the excess color you're going to take underneath the eye. Uh... I do recommend this brand because the Sephora brand I find is just a very, very good formula in the eyeshadows. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just fanning. I'm kind of like feathering it out, going in circles. Going in circles. I'm taking it halfway through to the eye crease. Not all the way in. And I'm, I'm just like circling it so it fades. You see? Very, very easy. I did forget to take the plum. So take a little bit of your plum. And line the... Your line underneath. This is the eyeshadow brush. And I love it because look how thin it is. And it allows you to do this with no problem. Okay, so I put the plum under my eye. Now I'm going to take a little bit more brown. And I'm going to go under halfway through. So that some of the plum shows. And that's it. What you do from this point is you get your blender brush. Any type of fluffy brush you have. Make sure it's clean. 
you're going to go right on top of this line here and just go back and forth, back and forth. You're going to fade that line together. Okay, you guys can see. Mask, not mascara, eyeliner. <clears throat> Liquid eyeliner. This is the best technique. So this is by L'Oreal, and what you do here is, I've already curled my lashes, so I'm just going to touch on top of my eyelashes with the eyeliner. And I started doing this new technique because I am really trying to prevent wrinkles. But I don't like the look of a liquid liner every day so what you do is you put the liquid liner on it's wet you get an angle brush or whatever skinny slim brush you have I'm dipping it into my darkest black and I'm going back through here and I'm just patting it on to that shiny black line and what this does it gives the illusion that you have a powder or a pencil on because it makes it matte after you've patted it on and it's covered the entire line you can go back through and just kind of fade it up a little if you want to give it a little bit more of a, a soft line so the top of the line will be just a little bit faded with the existing or the extra you just do your corners here bring it in just a pinch and that's it. And then you complete it. Can I see? And then you just complete it with some mascara, like on this side. So, I'm Christina Marie. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my plum brown um, eyeshadow tutorial. Um, if you guys do it, post a picture on my Facebook. Give me some feedback on my YouTube. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.